This is Shane Watson here from PSP Sports. How you doing, here with Frank Warren. Look at that smile on his face today. Well, that's a great show. You always have a smile on your face to be fair. It's a great show, isn't it? Yeah, no, I'm I'm really, really excited about this one. I mean, they're good fights. We always want those tough 50 50 um, British domestic dust ups. And you've got them. And we've got got Leon Woodstock Archery Sharp, which I didn't think would be made this early in their careers, but it has. And even more impressive, Jack Carroll or Hara Davis. There you go. So we we aim to please. We're we're fan friendly, and that's what we're trying to do. Do the big fights. A little bit on Hara Davis and Jack Carroll. Do you believe the winner of that goes on to a world title shot? Yeah, I think the winner, and I'm trying to get an eliminator stage. Us on it. If I can get that done, I think the winner are going at number one. Because Jack Carroll, I believe, is very highly ranked in WBO, isn't he? I think he's ranked number two at the moment, I'm not sure. Yeah, of course. Um, and also, a lot of uh, talk's been going on, you're probably sick of answering it. I know you've had it all day today. Um, Tyson Fury, Dante Wilder. Tyson Fury's made some statements saying it's very close. Dante Wilder actually came out and said himself that it's close as well. It's close. Um, you're the man, to probably the best person in the world to ask about that right now. It's close. And is that a fight that could be close for this year or next year? I'd be for this year. Next year, and he's got come for his fight on the 18th of August, but it's close for this year. Yeah. And where did this come from? Because everyone was being well, talking. Come from it, come from fighters wanting to fight the best, and they're two of the best out there. You know, the three best heavyweights in the world, in my opinion, are um, Anthony Joshua. Not in any order. Anthony Joshua, Deontay Wilder, and Tyson Fury. So you've got two of them fight who are willing to step up to the plate and fight each other, and we've we quite close to getting that over the line. And how hard or easy has it been to deal with their team? Hard. Not hard at all. They're good people to deal with. I've, I've worked with them over the years and we've made many fights together, so it's been a breeze. Because we're not worried about, we're not worried about, you know, killing the golden goose. And is that a fight that would happen in Vegas rather than Manchester? I would think it's a big possibility to take place abroad. And also, um, Eddie Hearn made a comment recently about that interview you did on TalkSport. What one was that? Um, I think he said something that like... Oh, the Bellu one? Yeah, about even that... Um, What's he say? Even Shelley Fink on that said they didn't send a contract, but you said that you've seen... What Shelley Fink said? I think you, you phoned him up and asked him. Yeah, so... And also a little bit on the Deontay Wilder and Fury situation. Is that a fight that could be for the Ring Mag title as well? Because obviously it's currently vacant. I don't know. I don't know. A fight, maybe. Who knows? I mean, who knows? It's. Uh, I mean, that, to be quite honest, it doesn't need any any uh, any belts, does it? It's such a good fight. But it'd be for the you know, Deontay's title. That's what it'd be. For. And as you said, it could be for next year. Do you think Fury will get another run out after no, the title? this year. Oh, you think what Fury Wilder will be for this year? Yeah. So Fury's last fight before Wilder could be Francesco Pernet. Correct. Okay. Well, thanks for talking to Peter Sports. I know you've got a shoot you. off. And hopefully we can catch up again soon, Frank. Exactly, well, yeah.